stream syntax here. Today I'm going to be showing off that Admiral Curtis's high-level emulation implementation of Revolution actually works on GameCube games. So this has been merged recently into Dolphin, and right here I have the latest Dolphin. So in the user folder, you can go load, Revolution, this is the new folder, and then here's where you put all your Revolution patches. So I made a new folder here to play Shadow the Hedgehog, and this has all the files as well as the main.doll that's normally in the sys folder when you're building the ISO uh, in this folder here. And I went ahead and under the Revolution folder made an XML, which basically it tells Revolution what I want to replace. Now I haven't actually finished it yet, I've just went ahead as a quick test, replaced all the CSD files and as well as the main.doll, and as you may or may not know, the main.doll for this patch in particular actually handles spawning the player and whatnot. So it'll be fairly obvious if this is working or not. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Dolphin now. And here's the original game, unmodified, and under config I have cheats off currently. So I'm going to launch the game just to prove that this is the unmodified game, everything's working as expected. Oh, let me mute, so don't, don't, we'll record the audio there. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. And I'm just going to go to the canyon. Okay, and here you can see uh, there is no player two. The UI is kind of stretched it's because I don't have the GNCP patches on and I have it set to 16 by 9. Uh, so yeah, this is the original game. I think it's fairly obvious. So I'm stop this now. And I'm going to right-click the game and say start with revolution patches. And this is a good sign. So this picked up this is the correct game based on the game ID here. It says Super Shadow the Hedgehog enabled. So I'm going to say start. And now once I get to the main menu here, we should see, yep, there we go. So we see file replacement is working perfectly. And if I actually go and load into game right now, uh, the player should spawn. However, there will not be a separate split because I handle that through gecko codes. So there we go. That's proof that the main.dolls patch is working right there. Uh, now let's go ahead and turn on cheats to so see if uh, the code handler still works. So I have cheats on now. Oops, that's the original game. <laughs> that's not going to work. Go back to revolution patches and start. Now I should be able to hop directly here by hitting enter. Yep, worked perfect. Turn to tell the 16x9 widescreen patch is working correctly now. And once we're in here, we should have two split screens as usual. Yep. And now the UI is properly sized. So there we have it. Revolution support for GameCube games.